What's up? So, to make sure you guys top as short is virus 11 up to hours 15. Some of these probably do work on hours 16. Keep that in mind. Um, the first week is called add a profile and slot button. Add in the slot profile button to the profile downloaded pop up. And jailbreak detection bypass for jailbreak and iOS. So, this is great for like apps or games. For those apps or games that prevent you from using their app or game because you are simply jailbroken. Um, there are different ways that the app or game does know that you are or detect that you are jailbroken. So, this hopefully using this tweak, it does allow you to bypass that and allows you to still use the app or game even though it does have a jail protection bypass on it. Sandy, uh, to securely extend the sandbox or system processes um, and use application on a per process basis. So this week allows you to get access to specified paths in your file system or being able to contest specified match services, which supports hours 8 to 14. Stop crashing please and it's only necessary if I was 13 at 13.7, no need to install I was 14. So experimental workaround for issues with Damien's jailbreak on I was 13, causing battery drain and system instability. So it puts some commonly crashing Damien's into a permanent safe mode, so no tweaks can load into them and cause instability issues. It does not fit all instability issues on I was 13, but should fit the most common ones. And this is called crashed. Um, this tweet does support iOS 9 through 15.7.1. It's a modern crash reporter for iOS. So pretty much it's hard to show you a uh, log to what caused the crash and allows you hopes supposed to help you identify um, what tweak or what service or whatever is, is causing the crash. So really sure rates at snap 15 are currently not supported, guys. Keep that in mind. Hide status bars and hides the lock screen and the SB. Uh, so it's 8 to 11.1.2. So hides SB status bar and hides LS status bar. An unsigned cuts on uh, port unsigned shortcut files supports iOS 15 to 15.7.2. So you can read exactly what it does for yourself. And Crowd Library 7, 8, 9, 10 supports iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. 3 days free trial, commercial package $1.99. It's also multitasking gestures and more. Allows you to close app or activate a switcher. You can swipe up from the bottom edge to close app or activate app switcher. Uh, you can swipe from the left and right edge to switch apps. You can have a quick switcher, a locked device, switcher, page action. Controls uh, version 16.1 contains an SDK for your platform. Also, build that wall. Joe Tweak, turn off the spying uh, from that government. So you can't figure out why it's re uh, if it enables itself all the time, though. Weird. You can try it out for yourself. Try to observe and reprogram running programs. I sound version 2.2. It supports iOS 13 to 15.7.1. Some screenshots. So, Atari Apple Limited, uh, we can do it through a device um, for notification sounds for applications. So this tweak allows you to set a custom notification sound for your applications. And you can configure that uh, notification sound per app. iPhone gesture is brought to older um, iPhones compar uh, compatible with iOS 15. So this does support iOS 15 to 15.7.1. So it brings those iPhone gestures to older iPhones that you have on iOS 15. Safari buttons, iOS 6, nope. Uh, color Safari buttons, so change the colors of the Safari button. Supports iOS 10 up to iOS 15.7.1. So yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.